Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And tonight's video is going to be about engraving more than one time in the print driver. And this is for Epilogue. And I'm sure other companies, other drivers can do the same thing. But when you're wanting to go deep with an engraving, first of all, I showed this off at the late Las Vegas show and somebody said it's so sharp and crisp. And it is because I kept the focus on the top. So if there was any expansion of the beam, it went lower. <clears throat> and you really can't tell it. I'm, this is like a 3 8 inch piece of wood. I only, almost went all the way through it. But in this diagram, you can see most engravers are going to want it. Your maximum is going to be 600 dots per inch. I ran this at 1,200 dots per inch, and it's pretty charred, versus this one over here is 600 dots per inch. The exact same power and speed, but I ran it twice, and I'm almost to the same depth. It's 0.65, and this is 0.675. So you could run this three times and have less burn than that. And so you surely you could go over your laser and press go one, two, three times, how many times you want to run it. And this will work with rastering, which would be engraving, or vectoring, which would be cutting. You could cut through something twice. But you could do this inside the print driver, and you could be sitting down at your desk doing something else, watching, you know, still watching their laser. Um, but you just go to print, and right here, number of copies you know this looks like you know something from word perfect but if you press three it's going to engrave the preferences which so let's go with raster and let's go with 100 power and 80 speed it's going to engrave that three times on top of each other and the laser is going to do it a little faster than you could probably do it because as soon as it goes back home, it's going to go and run again. So that's a really neat uh, deal if you're if you're wanting to go deep. And some people might not know well why would you want to go deep. A uh, couple reasons you might want to go deep for an outdoor sign that's going to be outside a long time and it's going to lose some of its luster. Or the reason I go deep like this is I'm going to fill this in with some sort of colored epoxy, and I've got several videos out there how to do that. But anyway, it's in your print driver right there under copies. You know, it doesn't turn pages like a printer would, but it'll, it'll put it right on top of that. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.